Biden says he's happy to debate Trump in a Howard Stern interview. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Quiet Part Podcast. My name is Chris. How is everybody doing? Got a couple stories to talk about here tonight, so let's get down to it. This from ABC News. In a Howard Stern interview, Biden says he's happy to debate Trump. I don't think that's actually what he means. Maybe he's using a word and he doesn't fully understand the context because the last debates they had weren't very happy for him. Uh, they spar in the media all the time. Granted, they're not talking to each other directly, but they're not happy. He's not happy to be doing that because he's always on his back foot. He doesn't ever have a chance to actually do and say anything of substance because he has nothing of substance to say. You know, that's just my thoughts. Um, and really, it speaks to a different problem. Joe has an issue. They said it in 2020 race, right? Well, the reason Joe can't do the public debates and can't do the public speaking is because he has a stutter. Now, the problem with this statement is Joe Biden's been in the public light for decades. And he's been speaking publicly for decades. And it was never a known thing that he had a stutter until it became something that was going to present itself as a problem when debating Donald Trump, when he was campaigning against Donald Trump. The only time it was used was to benefit him. And they're starting to trot that statement back out again. Honestly, if you have a stutter, I feel for you. I, I don't know how better to say that, but at the same time, this is something you've dealt with your entire life. You sh at the age of 81 should have a pretty good handle on it or at least know the things you can and cannot say without it presenting itself. Uh, these are things people learn to do. I have spoken with numerous people that have stutters and by a certain age, it's no longer a problem. They, they know it, they know themselves well enough and they can avoid certain conversations or certain word usages that will make it worse. You know, at the end of the day, there is zero reason why this should be a problem, except because it is. Anyway, let's get, get into the story here. President Joe Biden said Friday he is happy to debate former President Donald Trump, though did not specify as to when. So, yes, this is another instance where we got a soundbite, right? Yes, I am happy to debate, debate Donald Trump. Well, you can fact check that and say, yes, Joe Biden did, in fact, say he is happy to debate Trump. He never said when. Not once has he ever said when. If he was really happy to debate Donald Trump, he, he would have had his campaign reaching out to the Trump campaign and saying, all right, let's get it done. Why, do, why hasn't he done that? Why haven't you done that, Joe? Why don't you actually go out of your way to try, and de try to debate Donald Trump? Maybe we can spread him out over a longer period of time. Uh, both you and him are the presumptive nominees of the parties now. There's no reason why you can't debate. Hey, for added measure, let's add in some RFK Jr. and really make it a party. Give him the opportunity to showcase himself, show what he's got, show what he's got going on. Maybe he's got some answers to different policy things that neither you or Donald Trump have in common. Maybe he can be that missing link that provides context that neither you or Trump had thought of. I, I don't feel that that's a thing that's going to actually happen, but let's be real with ourselves. A different voice on the national stage, especially in a debate like this, can be a benefit. It can be a benefit to both Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Joe, obviously, because, well, it can help mask some of the speaking problems that he has because only a third of the questions are going to actually come to him now instead of 50%. Uh, he can kind of take points from RFK Jr. and adapt them to his own policies that he might be wanting to present. The, the benefits far outweigh the risks, in my opinion. Getting Trump on the board would be a benefit too, because then you can actually see the debate happen between Trump and RFK Jr. Which ideas are going to win? Who's going to win the audience? It'll give us an opportunity to gauge not only those things, 
but what kind of support each of them actually has because polling will show that, but we have to do it first. It has to happen. We can't just lock RFK Jr. out of these debates and say, sorry, serious two-party candidates only. Joe would not survive that night. Not mentally. He, he wouldn't be prepared. Again, he, he is not prepared for such an event and it will take him many months to be prepared in the smallest way possible. And even then, he's probably still going to get it wrong. The comment was made during a one-on-one -on -one interview with radio host Howard Stern, who asked if the president had plans to debate his 2024 opponent. I am somewhere, Biden responded. For the first time, he's indicated he will debate Trump in this election cycle. I don't know when. I'm happy to debate him, though. After Biden's remark on Stern's show, Sirius XM Trump campaign manager Chris Lasavita responded on social media. Okay, he wrote on X, let's set it up. And that's my point. If Biden was serious about that, these debates would have already been happening. Again, more opportunities for Joe to actually show that he's in control. He has something of value to add to this conversation is a good thing for him. If your goal is to truly beat Trump, more conversation is the better path. Get him talking, get him engaging in a way that fits your narrative and you could do better. But that's not what Joe's going to do. That's not what Trump's going to do. Trump will be as restrained as he is, necess is necessary on what he's saying and how he's saying it because he's been in the media and he does these uh, polls to figure out exactly what he needs to do and say and resonate with his own base. And if he can do that, he is in a better position. Trump, however, is pouring cold water on the idea that Biden actually wants to debate him. Well, Trump's not the only one pouring cold water on that. I don't. I read this headline and part of the article, and I said, well, obviously Joe doesn't actually want to do that. He has been trying to delegitimize Trump's candidacy for four years now, five years now, easily. And in doing so, that just means that he's not willing to debate. He doesn't consider Trump a worthy person to be debating. I wonder why that is. He, Joe's trying to get best of both worlds here. He's trying to say, yes, I'm open to it, but no, why would I legitimize his candidacy if it doesn't benefit me in any way? If he can't gain an upper hand, why would he do it? Has many people speculating myself included. Everyone knows he doesn't really mean it. Trump wrote in a post on truth. Uh, Trump quipped that Biden should debate him at his rally in Michigan next week, or even in New York City, where they'll both be on Friday, today. Trump, who skipped all four RNC-sanctioned 2024 primary election debates, has pulled out one of his three debates with Biden in 2020, has urged Biden to participate in the three general debates scheduled for this fall. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Trump pulled out of that one due to COVID. And somebody feel free to comment in below and let me know that I'm wrong if that's the case. But COVID was a big part of why Donald Trump did not go to that debate. He was on the mend. He said he was doing good. He received all the treatments necessary, and he was on the right side of getting past COVID and he just didn't want to make everyone else sick. He didn't want to make, put the other people there in danger. <clears throat> he did the right thing, but now they're going to use it a cudgel, as a cudgel against him. All right. Thank you for tuning in. That was a good episode. If you like it, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, even that notification bell, and you will get notified anytime I release more content. You can also follow me on X at real Chris Noski. On Instagram, I've now got an account set up there, The Quiet Part Pod. And of course, here on YouTube, The Quiet Part Pod. Uh, with that, I will see you guys next time. You have a good day.